pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change. The realist adjusts the sails. William Arthur Ward. Hello again, viewers. As you remember from our last video, today we're going to go ahead and replace the main halyard and the jib halyard. We're also going to reinstall the sails. We took our sails to Hodges Street Sail Repair here in Oriental. They went over them and checked for any rips or tears and made a few small repairs. Uh, the sails were in overall good condition, so we're going to go ahead and keep those for another uh, year or two maybe. And we also have out a sailor's palm, some needles, some wax string, and some electrical tape. We're going to use those items to attach the new halyards to the old halyards and run them through the rigging. That way it makes replacing them a whole lot easier. After we get the rigging reinstalled, we'll go ahead and reinstall the sails. And we'll show you how we go about that today. All right, now we're outside. And you can see here I have the whipped end of the new main halyard and the uh, end that was attached to the sail of the main halyard. I went ahead and cut off the loop here and the shackle is laying over on the side and we'll reattach that when we're done. But we'll attach the tail to the head of this line and then run it in. That way the tail comes out. Uh, like it should be through the cleats. I got, I got my needle with my wax twine already on. I'm just going to go ahead and make some small um, connections here. It doesn't have to be anything super tight because you will be cutting it again as soon as you're done with the with running the rigging. But you just want them to be in line with each other. That way they flow through the, the rigging smoothly. Now we're going to go ahead and take our electrical tape and cover up the twine and the rope connections that way just to make sure that there is uh, no chance of getting it snagged while it's running through all the tracks. Some people do this with either just the electrical tape or just the thread of twine. Uh, I like to go ahead and do both because it's worth the seven cents of electrical tape and twine for me to just make sure that it runs correctly. Now that looks all pretty good, so now all we have to do is just start feeding it back through the tracks. got the new line tied to the old line. We'll go ahead and undo the electrical tape, cut the threading, and our new hires installed. I had some additional cameras running to better film the raising of the sails, but unfortunately I didn't actually press record. I guess I'll have to hire a production assistant for the boat from now on. Anyway, on to the sails. First I had to attach the tack to the tack shackle and the clue to the outhaul. Next I attached the head to the head shackle. Now I fully raised the main halyard until the sail was completely up, ensuring the left bolt remained in the track without binding. Once it was fully up, you simply rolled the main back into the mast. However, I had to reinstall the main a total of three times to get the sail fully to the top. I couldn't get the tracks to align at the very top, resulting in a wrinkle in the sail along the foot. There was a bit of cloth uh, bound up all along the boom. It was quite irritating, but after rocking the outhaul and the inhaul back and forth, I was able to get everything lined up and the sails for away. Installing the furling jib was a little easier, but a similar process. I made sure the two jib sheets were attached and I put a wrap around the winches to maintain a bit of tension while I was raising the sail. I attached the tack in the head and then ran the luff through the track and raised the sail. Once the sail was fully raised, I simply furled it in much like you do every day you're out on the water. It wasn't too terribly difficult. We installed the running rigging 
reinstalled the main sail and the jib and you can see how we had to raise the sails fully and then roll them up into the master on the furler. Uh, sorry about some of the video, some of the, I was trying out some different cameras today and some of the quality wasn't the greatest, but we hope you enjoyed the video anyway. We'll see you next time.